Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com. In this quick video, I will show you how to fix the screen overscan or calibration on the on Android TV boxes and others that don't allow for this in settings. I just purchased this new Samsung TV and you're gonna see here when I go into the Surfshark VPN application that the corners are cut off on the edges. And this is the case for all of the apps on the device. Now, if I go back to the launcher itself, you're gonna see that this looks completely fine because the design of the launcher is good and they don't have anything displaying near the edges. Now, there are two ways we can fix this. One is through the TV itself and the other is through the Android TV box. I suggest first starting with your TV. Now, on my TV remote, if I click the settings button, it brings up this menu here at the bottom. I click the gear icon, go into all settings, and then for me, if I go into picture, picture size settings, there's an option here that says fit to screen. It's on auto. Now, if I come in here and choose on instead, you're going to see it shrinks it. I'm going to hit my back button a few times, get out of the settings window. Now I'm going to go back into the Surfshark VPN application and everything now looks good. So back to the home screen. Now I'm going to open up the settings on my TV remote again. I'm going to go back in here and go back to auto. Now, there are hundreds of different televisions out there. More than likely, your settings aren't going to be the same as mine. But what you can do is just go into the picture or display settings, poke around until you find what you need. It might say something like zoom, calibration, or it could be very similar to mine and say something about picture size. Now I wanna show you how to change these settings on the Android TV box itself because there are some older TVs that won't allow you to change these settings like I have here on my TV. Before I go to the next step, be sure to get my free video guide on how to install third-party app stores that will allow you to install hundreds of secret apps not available within Google Play Store or Amazon App Store. The reason these devices are so popular is due to the free secret apps that we can install, and my guide covers everything from start to finish. To get my video guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with a camera app on your phone or tablet, and the free guide will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Now, I'm using the On 4K Pro, and you would think we could just come in here to Settings, Display and Sound, and there'd be an option in here to change the screen calibration. And that is the case for many Android TV boxes, but unfortunately for the on Android TV boxes, there's nothing in here. Now the settings exist on these boxes, they're just not showing it in the settings and I'm gonna show you how you can get to that. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I'm gonna open Google Play by holding down on the microphone button of my remote and say, open Google Play. Okay. Go to search. TV quick actions. Okay, there's a pro version without ads, and then you have this one here with ads. Now, I personally purchased the pro version because I like to support the developer. This is an awesome application, and I will link to some other tutorials in the video notes below where I've used this handy application. I install this on all of my Android TV boxes. But for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the free version because if this is all you need the app for, there's no need in paying for it. So I'm gonna install this. I'm gonna go back to the home screen. I wanna go back into Surfshark VPN and again, show you that the edges are cut off. Now I'm gonna launch TV Quick Actions. Hit Continue, Continue. Now, when we get to this, we need to choose Allow, move down, and turn on TV Quick Actions for the allow display over other apps. Hit the back button, continue again. There's no need to deal with this battery because we don't have a battery on the Android TV box. I'm gonna choose not now. Start accessibility service, hit agree. Move down, go to system, accessibility, and turn on TV quick actions. Enable it, okay. Back button a few times until we're back to TV quick actions. Now I'm gonna hover over buttons and actions. Move over to the right. 
click Add Button. Now it's asking me which button we want to use to open this screen calibration menu. I'm going to choose the Settings button. So I'm going to press the Settings button on my remote, which looks like a gear. Button Action Type. I want to change that to Usual Action. And now I don't want to interfere with the current button press, so I don't want to use single press. We still want the settings button on the remote to work the way it usually does. I'm going to use long press instead. So when I long press that button, it's going to open the calibration settings. So I'm gonna choose long press. Now, like I said earlier, this is the ad version and that's why it's free. Once the ad has played, I'm gonna hit the back button on my remote. And now it's asking me to choose the application that I want to open when I long press the gear icon on my remote control of the Android TV box. I'm gonna come down here, go into more settings, and I wanna choose this top option here, more pref fragment activity. Okay, we're done with this app. I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote now I'm going to long press the gear icon on my Android TV box remote control. I'm just gonna hold it down for a few seconds. And now we get this settings panel here. I'm gonna go into display, screen position, and now I want to zoom out. And you can see here when we do that, you can see where the edge of the screen currently is and you just want to get it to where it's just on the edge. Back button a few times. Now I'm going to go back into Surfshark VPN. We'll check it. And now you can see everything looks perfect. There's nothing creeping off the screen. And I would like to say, if you are using an Android TV box, again, be sure to go into settings first to see if that screen calibration is already there. There's no need to go through this entire process to do this unless those settings aren't present and they aren't on these popular on Android TV boxes. Guys, be sure to take a look in the notes below. I will provide links to everything that I referenced in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. As always, have a great day and thanks for following Troy Point.